Welcome to part 3 of centrifugal exhaust fan. We will be drawing up a fan impeller. Let's make a start. We will be drawing the front view of the fan impeller first. Go to home, click that. Go to layers and make Layer center the current layer, select line and draw the center lines. Go to layers, make six mil plate the current layer, select circle and draw the 500 arm to circle as per the drawing. And now we'll be drawing another circle and we'll use that to tidy up our center lines too. Go to trim, select the circle and trim all the center lines now. Now we can erase this circle now. Go to the drawing, zoom into the boss. We'll be projecting this onto a drawing. Go to layers, make boss the current layer, select circle and draw all the diameters as per the drawing. Now we are ready to draw the keyway. Draw a line from the quadrant of the circle about here. Go to offset and make sure the layer is set to current. Offset 45 has per the drawing. Now offset the width of the keyway, which is 6 mil either side of the center line. Now go to fill it. Make sure the radius is set to zero and clean the corners up. Now go to trim, select the lines and the circle and trim everything now. Now erase all the lines which we don't want. This circle needs to be a hidden as per the drawing. So select this, right click, go to properties. Go to line type and change that to hidden and that completes our boss. Now we are ready to draw our blades. Go to the drawing. We need to check how many blades we have and what thicknesses they are. So we've got six of blades, six mil thick, equally spaced. Also check the position of our first blade and that is on that center line. So go to layers, make blades a current layer and offset the thickness uh, of 3 mil either side of the center line. Now go to trim, select this circle and select this circle and trim all the lines which we don't want. And now we can erase these other lines now. We need to go to the drawing and check the blade profile now. So as you can see from this, we've got a straight portion which we need to project on our drawing. So go to offset, 98 has per the drawing. Draw a line from the quadrant of the circle, perpendicular to this line here. We can erase this uh, circle now. Go to extend. Select this line and extend that across. Now we need to trim uh, the one of the center lines. So go to trim. and trim the center line which we don't want. Now we are ready to array our blades now. Go to array, select polar array, select the blade and the center line. Pick up the center of the array. Item 6, that's fine. And angle fill of 360, that's fine. 
close array and that completes our front view now we are ready to draw our side view we will just draw half of that and mirror the other side so let, uh, let's draw the center line first now we need to project all the points across so go to draw select construction line make sure the plane is horizontal and pick up all the points now that's all the points projected across now we'll draw the six mil plate first and it's six mil thick as per the drawing and that's that drawn now we're going to draw our boss now so go to offset 82 as per the drawing and offset 40 for the other side clean the corners up using the fillet command and trim all the lines which we don't want now go to match properties select this line and move all the lines in the click layer we'll also move that center line in the click layer too now now raise the construction line which we don't want go to layers and make blades the current layer and draw the blade as per the drawing and that's our blade draw now so we can mirror the other side now so select mirror pick up everything which you want mirror select our first point and our second point that's the other side mirrored now we need to trim this line so go to trim and that's that done now uh, we need to use much match properties to move that line to the click layer now we need to change these three lines to hidden as per the drawing so select all these three lines right click go to properties go to line type and change them to hidden and that completes our side view if this tutorial has been helpful, like and subscribe, stay tuned with part 4.